When Assistant Police Chief Gary Tibbs adopted his son Ethan, he wasted no time enrolling him in Moore's Head Start program. Designed to give kids ages 3 to 5 a jump start on education, Tips and Ethan are seeing the results. It's just my wife and I at home, so uh, I think we're kind of boring. Uh, I try to play with him till uh, he gets ready for bed, but uh, he'd much rather play with the children up here. And, you know, they work with him and teach him the basics for what he needs to get into school. So he comes home and it's like he has a new word every day that he has learned or a new concept. Well, I think it really prepares them, you know, gives them, quote unquote, a head start to go into the public school setting or whatever setting they may choose once they leave the program. So I think it really has an impact and gives those children that come through the program um, the, that jump start that they need to be prepared when they go into those settings. Anthony Stafford is the Head Start Director for Crossroads Youth and Family Services, a nonprofit charged by the federal government with administering Head Start programs in our area. I had gone through Head Start um, as, a, as a young child. I know what the program meant to me and um, I remember very vividly uh, the impact that it had on my life and I remember very vividly my grandfather walking me to the program, to the Catholic Church, across the park, even though I was four or five years old. So just having those memories and that, that impact, um, I felt like I wanted to be involved uh, with the program and so I could have that same effect on uh, the children and families that we serve. But until just this past month, Head Start has been unable to serve anyone in Moore thanks to the tornado of 2003, which demolished the former Head Start facilities. When the Crossroads Group took over the program, they quickly found a new building, this former church here on Janeway Avenue, and set about preparing it for the program. But then more problems hit. We gutted it, getting ready to renovate it, and then we ran out of funds. And, um, and it sat empty for several months while we tried to figure out where we could get some funding. And we were hopeful that the feds would come through with some one-time funds for us to renovate this facility so we could get it open. And then Katrina hit. And, uh, you know, all of our federal dollars then went into the rebuilding of the South, you know, from the, the hurricane down there. Determined not to be derailed by either a tornado or a hurricane, the agency took the unusual step of dipping into its emergency funds to complete the renovation work to the new Head Start building. <gasps> Gary Tips now sits on the Head Start board of directors and was part of that difficult decision. So the board voted to, to spend it to finish the building out. And, uh, they didn't think twice about it. It was for the kids. This board got into this Head Start program for these kids. And now the kids are reaping the benefits. With a newly renovated building and lots of extra space, Crossroads was not only able to expand the original Head Start program, but also add a brand new program to the mix. We have four Head Start classrooms and two early Head Start classrooms. And by the way, the early Head Start classrooms in Moore marks the first time that Moore has had early Head Start. So we brought early Head Start to Moore and we're very excited about that. Early Head Start is a specialized program for children ages zero to three years of age, giving some kids an even earlier Head Start. We're watching their growth and their development. We're charting those things. We're keeping progress notes on how they progress um, as they do certain things, their fine motor skills, um, and just all of the health stuff that we do around early Head Start and Head Start. In fact, the program has proven so popular, there are waiting lists and more to get in. The agency uses a point system looking at financial need and individual needs of the family and child to determine who gets the top spots. The facility actually has the space to double in classroom size when additional funds are allocated. We would like to present this check to the Head Start program here and more for $1,000. That's where the community comes in, such as this contribution by the new Home Depot. Even under normal circumstances, the agency relies on 25% of its funding from local contributions. Everything above that will go to expand the program. Our funding right now only permits us to use two out of our four classrooms. So currently we only have 37 Head Start children in Moore and two empty classrooms because we don't have enough funding to open the classrooms. So you have to have community support. It's the community that we're doing these things for. It's the kids. Uh, 
We're trying to open the doors to help the community, help the parents that live in this community. So we have to have community support. We need businesses to help us. To get more information about enrolling a child in Head Start and Early Head Start, or how your business or organization can contribute to the program, contact Crossroads Youth and Family Services at 292-6440.